there, spill the theories, hit us, spill some theories. Like always, before I start, I'm going to give a quick spoiler warning of Little Nightmares 2 and the digital comics. You have been warned. Also, these gameplays aren't mine. All rightful owners have been linked down below. Alright, let's get started. I'm sure by now, if you have played or watched Little Nightmares 2, you know about an existence of a certain character called the Pigtails Girl or Crutches. For my sake, but also for your sake, I will call her Crutches because the Pigtails Girl is a mouthful when repeating it over and over again, which will happen in this video. She's a character that appears in the third Little Nightmares digital comic. At the end of the comic, we are left only to wonder with no clear path about what happened to her. I myself have no idea. I gathered up as much information as I could find, and we'll see if we can make out an appropriate conclusion with what we know so far. Let's first look at what happens in the comic. We start off in a small square room. In the middle of that room is a small child trying to dig through the ground with her bare hands. We then see an unknown character behind a door blocking her from escaping. This said character throws her a spoon. She then gets the idea to try and dig through the ground with that spoon. She also seems to have a non-stop nosebleed. After a while, another spoon gets thrown in. The girl now starts to write down the days with tally barks, hinting she's been digging for a long time. After successfully digging a tunnel, she ends up in another room. Very similar, maybe even identical to hers. This is when the door gets opened. She starts making her way out, but seemingly gets captured by the doctor before she could escape. This is where we could argue about what happened at the end, since the ending was left to interpretation. My personal take on this is that she got captured and didn't manage to escape in time. Even with this conclusion, I don't believe that she died at that moment. The concept of death in Little Nightmares is now very complicated, since the whole game might be a time loop. So, characters can just die and reappear out of nowhere, kind of like Mono. So, what happened to Crutches after getting captured? Well, of course, we don't know the answer to this yet, but I do have two theories. Before we can talk about it, we have to look at some concept art. Take a few seconds to observe the following images. Looking at these pictures, do you notice anything similar? What seems similar to me is the wires coming from the children's head. These wires could be connecting them to TVs. If they're connected to TVs, they must be connected to the signal tower. We can see hospital beds with a few children laying on them. And some more beds in this picture. I believe these children got operated on by the doctor to have these wires. Keeping that in mind, my first theory is that she is one of those children, potentially feeding the signal tower or maybe even TV through wires. The proof that I have for this are concept art, of course, because you know my addiction to concept art. This picture right here. What I see is crutches after getting a wire put through her head with whatever method the doctor used to insert it. Another similar picture is this one, but this time with a screen in the way preventing us from seeing the child. Of course, this could be someone else, but from what we've seen in the hospital and its patients, none of them are that small. The only small one we see is crutches. To talk about my second theory, I need to talk about a widely believed theory first. Do you remember the patient we see in the hospital that is actually alive? Like, actually alive, breathing. This person here, if we can even call it a person. I've seen that loads of people believe that this is her which I do not understand. The patient looks male, is very tall, and frankly just doesn't resemble her at all. But I know we've seen characters wildly change from their original forms. One of the reasons no one suspected Mono of actually being Thin Man since they do not resemble each other one bit. This could be the case here, and if you believe so, that's completely fine. But I still do not believe they are the same. Okay, enough blabbering. Let's move on, on to the second theory. I believe she is or was in the bathtub. Why, you might ask? Well, take a look at this picture. 
This is an actual picture of crutches that we can find in a few places in the entire game. If you pay really close attention and look closely, you can see that she is wearing a pair of crutches. That's probably where she got her name. How she got those, I do not know, but they do hint at something. Here's another picture of the bathtub itself found in the hospital. Do you see the pair of crutches laying in the bathtub? I think she was put through this kind of treatment. You know, having tentacles poured on you. Ugh. Remember that you can find a glitch kid in the room. Now, I don't believe the person we see while playing Little Nightmares is her. I only believe she was once put into that bathtub. But what do you think? Once again, this is purely based on what I believe and what I researched. You always have room to decide what you believe is true and what isn't. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe and comment on some of your hot theories. Take care and I'll see you guys soon for more theory spells.